Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Tuesday. It is September the 10th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful, encouraging Word of God. And as we do, picking up in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, the last chapter in uh, 1 Corinthians, and he's given some instructions to the church on how uh, we are to be able to uh, gather together and to love one another and to help one another out. Because if we follow Christ in this world, if we follow Christ in this world, there are going to be two uh, things you can count on always. One is that there will be people who will be coming to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ who are going to need help uh, because the world's going to the world's going to mess with them. And secondly, you will have adversaries who are going to try to come against you and destroy the work of God. Those are two absolutes that we must uh, recognize, as the early church had to recognize. And so Paul comes along and gives some instructions here, and he says, in verse uh, chapter sixteen, verse one. Now concerning the collection. For the saints, as I have given order to the churches in Galatia, even so you do. So he said, when you come together, you're going to take up this collection. This collection is going to be for a specific purpose. He says, and upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay aside by him in store, as God hath prospered him, that there be no gatherings when I come. And so he says, as you gather every single week on the first day of the week, which, once again, a great proof here that... The New Testament church uh, did not observe the Sabbath as it was in the Old Testament law. Christ fulfilled that Old Testament Sabbath. He rose on the first day of the week. And so he says, you are gathering on the first day of the week. And when, the, when you come together, you take up this collection for the saints. So these would be saints in Jerusalem. Because he's going to see here in a little while, he's going he's to get these gatherings. And he's going to have, the, the church is going to have someone entrusted. that's going to send them back to Jerusalem. And why would they have to be taking up a collection uh, on the first day of the week when they gathered together as God has prospered them was because the saints in Jerusalem were suffering, suffering greatly uh, and being uh, excommunicated out of society, out of their families, out of their, out of their places of employment as they began to trust Christ in Jerusalem. And that's the same way it is here uh, in the world in which we live. If you are a follower of Christ, you are liable to suffer uh, very harshly at the hands of the world. They will cut you out. And so he says, I want to make sure that you're making this this, this, um, this collection for the saints because they're going to need it very, very um, soon. And he says, and when I come, whomever you shall have approved by your letters, then I will send them to bring your liberty to under Jerusalem. So he says, you've picked someone whom you think is trustworthy and when I come, uh, I will I will gather up that offering, and we will um, bring it back. And so, uh, verse four. And if it be meet that I go, also they shall go with me. So he says, we're going to pick somebody that y'all trust to send that money back. And if I need to go, then I'll go too. Um, and then verse five. Now when I come unto you, uh, now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, for I do pass through Macedonia. And so he says, don't worry, listen, you be faithful to do uh, and to prepare to love on the saints of the Lord, and I'm coming, he says. And it may be that I will abide, yea, and winter with you, that ye may bring me on my journey, whether so I go. And so he says, uh, the Corinthian church also obviously was a church that was um, um, very financially secure. And so he says, you're going to help the saints. And if possible, you can also help me as I prepare uh, to go on my next journey where I'm going to be going. And then he says, For now, or for I will not see you now, by the way, but I trust to tarry a while with you if the Lord permit. But I will tarry at Ephesus unto Pentecost. And so he says, I need to stay here for this time as we celebrate uh, the glorious truth. And here is what he says in verse 9. That ties all this together. He says, For a great door... And effectual has been opened unto me. So he's there in Ephesus. The gospel, the fields are white unto harvest. He's able to see, he's seeing a harvest of souls reap for the glory of God as he's continuing to share. The Corinthian church has been able to help him, uh, to help sustain him so that he can do this work, so he can do this ministry. And so it's important that we as a church recognize that we are to help the saints that are sharing the gospel, and we are to help the saints who have been uh, harmed because of the gospel uh, with their financial 
uh, ability. And so we're putting this into practice and loving on those uh, who do not have. But he says, not only was there a great door and effectual open unto him, but, and there are many adversaries. There are many adversaries. Everywhere we go, there are going to be those who want to uh, do harm to the church of Jesus Christ. But that's why the church is so large, and that's why we're spread out so that we can, while one is going under persecution and under trouble, we can be helping out. And so I pray you belong to a church that gathers on the first day of the week that allows you to come together and, and be thankful for what God has done for you and uh, providing for you and allowing your family to be blessed and have all the things which you need. But there are those out there who are hurting, who need help. And, uh, and so we come together and we do that. We support missionaries and we support those who uh, are in need. And uh, especially because of the persecution of their faith. And so, oh, I do pray that you have a church home uh, that, that you are connected with and that you love and that you are growing together and, and working together because uh, the fields are wide under harvest, but the adversaries, they are many. And so let's stand together and let's do the work of the Lord and go forth today mightily in the name of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.